Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. It does mean a lot to me and we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it. Make sure you drop in a like as well. But yeah, thank you guys ever so much for the support on yesterday's video. It smashed over 400 views. I think it's currently at around 425 views. Absolutely insane. Gained around 10, 15 subscribers from that one as well. So if you are new around here, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for you know watching the video. I do appreciate it very, very much. But yeah, apart from that, guys i hope you guys are enjoying season four and in today's video we're going to be covering the vector or the other name it has i'm not entirely sure i can't remember what it was called fennec that's the name of the gun we're going to be covering that in today's video it's a the new smg like i said it's similar to the vector or is the vector if you will uh it seems decent i'm not going to say my full opinion on it just yet until we're in the gameplay have a pretty decent gameplay with it not the best obviously uh we were on scrapyard so my muscle memory was a little bit off on scrapyard obviously i've not played it since 10 years ago so it's pretty much I'd like to see a new map obviously I remembered it but obviously the way the map works the way it plays I wasn't familiar with obviously it's a different game so it's different to how it played in Modern Warfare 2 but nonetheless an insane map also if you guys was wondering this is the class up I'm going to be rocking on screen I actually think in the gameplay I don't have the barrel on I have the barrel of the suppressor which is the it's not even there it's the muzzle the saber muzzle that's the one I think I'm rocking in the gameplay but yeah this is probably the best setup that you can make of it, what I can make of it right now. I've not got it max ranked, but um, in terms of what I can get right now, this is definitely the best class setup. And if you are thinking of using the Fennec, the 40 round drum mag is an essential thing to have, which I'll talk about in the video. But yeah, without further ado, guys, we're going to hop straight into the gameplay right now. I hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay. Um, I'm going to talk in depth about what I think of the Fennec, of the Vector, whatever you want to say. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Make sure you smash the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Okay guys, we've got a team deathmatch on Scrapyard. We're using the Vector or the Fennec, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it the Vector, so if you hear me say Vector, that's what I mean. I mean the Fennec, if you aren't familiar with the Vector. Uh, straight off the bat, we're going to die. And I want to talk about this gun and I want to talk about Scrapyard in general as well, to be fair. This gun for me... I don't even know. I've used it for the whole of season four so far since I obviously I locked it straight off the bat with the se uh, season pass, the battle pass thing. Uh, immediately it reminds me of the Vector from Ghosts, which in my eyes was an insane, insane gun. And don't get me wrong, this gun is very good as well. But in terms of being able to compete with other guns, it struggles absolutely, like just massively, man. It's, the fire rate on it is super, super fast. Um, and I'm not sure if it's just me playing awful but I've seen a lot of people other people saying similar things it is it's weak man if, if you don't have the 40 round mag on then you're gonna not stand a chance with the fire rate on this thing because uh, it's, I think it's, tw it's 25 bullets in a regular magazine so I mean the, as you, you can see for yourself the fire rate I mean I killed that one guy there with a the right shield and this one kid here and it's pretty much I've just shot 35 bullets in that very short space of time this guy in this corner, let's just see for him out of the way. And it's it, it's definitely uh, difficult to use, I'll be honest. It's uh, a huge, huge struggle. Um, I'm going to keep playing with it though. I want to try and figure out the best class up for this gun because there is going to be there's going to be a setup for this gun that's going to make it into a monster. And we've got a VTOL actually. I didn't, oh my god, I didn't even see that guy in the bottom right. I didn't even realise it was on a bit of a streak. But by all means, this gun is super fun to use. But I mean, after... Uh, I mean... Yesterday, whilst I was playing, you know, I um, was playing with the Vector, obviously, and then I was just doing awful with it, and I switched the MP5, and then just turned up a bit, you know, and actually had a decent game. My first decent game on Season 4 wasn't even using this gun, it was using the MP5, um, which obviously is my preferred gun, it's my favourite weapon. I was struggling, I don't know if it's this map, and I've seen a lot of people slating this map as well. Um, and if you do follow me on Twitter, if you don't, make sure you do. Uh, I tweeted out that I love the Vector, I love the I love Scrapyard, and I love Season 4, and that was like an hour into Season 4 that I'd played, oh my day. That was like an hour I'd played, and obviously when something's new in a game, especially Call of Duty, it's super duper fun, you know, you love it straight, like instantly. And that's the kind of effect I had, but the more I played with the Vector, the more I played Scrapyard, the more I began to realise it's just not that great at all. And it's a shame because I want this effect to be insane, but I think the reason I'm thinking this is that the DLC guns we've had in the past, and I'm going to use the Growl for a perfect example here, it is a god gun, if not one of the best, well, it is one of the best guns in the game, if not the best. 
um, and I think that's what I wanted from the Vector, you know, I wanted an SMG that was going to be a standout SMG that was going to absolutely, you know, destroy people. I, I thought that's what I was going to get with this thing, because obviously the Vector is such an iconic weapon, um, and the Ghost Vector was probably the best Vector we've had um, ever, in my opinion, and that's what, as soon as I put it in my class and saw what it looked like, I was like, damn, this is the one. I mean, I don't think the Ghost one had a high enough, higher rank uh, as this one. Um, not high enough rank, higher fire rate. Fire rate. Um, I think I said rank because it leveled, my gun rank leveled up, but it's what it is. But I mean, don't get me wrong, don't get it twisted that this is actually a really, really good gun. In up close, it's a monster. I don't think you'll be able to outgun this thing up close. Uh, to be honest, just the fire rate is just incredible, but the damage, oh my god, no way. I don't know how I died there, but up close, this thing's a machine by all means, but at range, it really, really does struggle. I mean, I had a few long range beams, but as well in terms of just the play style in general, I've struggled to get a decent gameplay of this thing all morning and all yesterday. I've been trying to, after yesterday's video, I was trying to get a gameplay with this thing, and I struggled yesterday, all yesterday, I played the worst I've ever played in a very very long time like I wasn't go doing any outstanding games I was just bang average all day and I didn't even mean to shoot that crate then but the crate of the uh, plane but I mean I just can't get, seem to get anything going on this map I just this map just doesn't seem right it just doesn't s seem as good as it used to be people are all over the place um, the game the map I'm trying to play it how it would play Modern Warfare 2 and it doesn't seem to be happening. I think the best area on the map is. I thought someone spawned there. It was my teammate. I thought it was from the attack insurgent. Oh my god, teammate. Why do you destroy attack insurgents? I never know people, understand people who destroy attack insurgents. Like, just wait around the attack, attack insurgent and there's someone who's spawned there. It's going to be a free kill, you know? That's how I look at it. But yeah, it doesn't play like it did in Modern Warfare 2. And I think this area of the map I'm at right now where I've spawned and where I died. Um, this is the best area on the map, in my opinion, to hold down. Um, seems to have the most success rate. I mean, I can't really hold any other area of the map down because there's just people everywhere. I mean, middle middle of the map is just a death sentence. I mean, as is most middle maps and most maps, but I just can't seem to get anything going. Seriously, and it's, it was really annoying me last night. And I mean, it is what it is. The Vector, though, is a really, really good gun. Uh, definitely not as good as I thought it would be. It was, it is extremely weak at range. I mean, obviously the guns have its, oh my God, no way. I mean, like I said, they have the weaknesses, they have the strengths. Up close, this thing's a machine. I mean, this is an absolute beast. I'm, on a shipment, this thing is going to tear people to shreds. Um, but I'm going to try and experiment with it, level this gun up, and I'm trying to get a mediocre, like medium range, long range, short range, like a, a vector version that can cover all range types and so stand its own. I'm going to try and get that for you guys, so make sure you do stay tuned for that. 19 to 11, like I said, I can't get a good gameplay these these days, guys. I don't know what it is. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby. Sorry if you can hear my mum hoovering in the background, super duper annoying. Um, also, sorry for the hair, it's all over the place, I really need it cut again. Uh, I feel like it was only two minutes since I last got it cut, but it's what it is. The Vector for me is definitely a decent gun, but it's definitely not what I expected. I think going from previous Vectors we've had, um, comparing it to what we've had before, it's definitely the bad thing to do. That's why I've got so much confusion, like not confusion, disappointment in it right now. Uh, but I'm going to experiment with it, I'm going to rank it up some more, get the best possible class up for you guys for this gun, because I'm sure a lot of you want to try it out, and maybe not all of you have unlocked it yet because you've not bought the battle pass or what have you, you're uh, just ranking up through playing, which might take a while, I don't actually know how long it takes to rank up, I've never ever done it, I've bought every single battle pass every time. Yeah, I'm sad, I know, but it is what it is. Uh, but anyway, apart from that guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching, if you guys are new around here, make sure you do go down below and smash that subscribe button. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you do drop a like. But yeah, apart from that guys, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, links to them are in the description below. Thank you guys ever so much for watching, I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.